going on everybody? Being some introductions. Uh give you my first tutorial. Um half human face, half skull face. And um let's get started. So I got two images. Let's Google them. Got Wiz Khalifa here and a skull image. So first of all I want to take this uh Wiz Khalifa image and duplicate it. And then I'm gonna go over here to my skull. Unlock it, take my magic wand, delete the background, delete that, delete that, and then we're going to go ahead and bring it over into our um, image of Wiz Khalifa, and we're going to size it down, so let's bring it down some, let's Hold on, what I like to do is change the opacity so I can see where I'm going to place it. Take it down like 50-60%. Rotate it a little bit to match our angle. And um, let's bring it down a little bit. Just so it matches, makes it more realistic. That looked pretty good. Let's make sure let's see, make sure it's matching very close. All right, so we got it right there. So now we want to go ahead and go to uh, increase the opacity back, and then layer mask hide all. So now what we want to do is take our paintbrush tool set to white. I don't like to use a hard brush, like maybe like eighty percent. And then just start drawing in or painting over the image. Start bringing that skull out. I do like, to, I like to keep um, this eye. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my black brush and kind of just, you know, Take the opacity down a little bit. Let's switch back. Color it in just slightly over the eye. Oh, we just still have a little bit of human on that side. Okay. Then what I want to do is it's a little plain. I don't like how it looks right now. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna switch my blend mode to something that makes it bring pop it out a little bit more let's do some hard light and we're going to bring this out some more so let's paint over it a little bit more oops make sure you have the layer mask selected let's make sure we get it all as much as we can all right let's go to Layer, no image adjustments, uh, curves. Oh, and also before we before I do that, I wanna desaturate it. So control, click the image and control shift you, uh, control shift you. And then we're gonna go over to the curves. And then I mean you could play with it how you want to make it a little darker um, just bring it out some more uh, let's see I want to do that I'll just play with it a little bit Hold up. Let me do that one more time. Uh, curves. Okay, let's see. I like how that looks. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and duplicate the regular again. And um, I'm going to change. Actually, you know what? Run 
scratch that. I want to do a curves adjustment on the actual image also. Kind of bring that down just a bit. It's a little bright. Okay. So now you see it's kind of bringing it out a little bit more. Um, so now what we're going to do is uh, uh, duplicate that layer. And then we're going to change the blend mode on that. See. I don't want to alter it too much, but that's cool right there. Alright, then we're going to go back to our skull image. We're going to duplicate that one. Control J. As you see, that really brings it out. And then uh, I'm going to take my eraser tool. I'm going to hide the bottom one and then I'm going to just slightly just soften this edge over here since we had that black and hide that one and bring this one in okay uh, you see we have it's looking pretty good right now uh, I think I'm gonna go over it one more time with my brush over the mask with a harder brush so we can just bring it out even more Since we have two layers, let's hide one. Whoops. Make sure you have the mask selected. Just so it's even. Let's get a little more of the nose in here. Get those, those shadows. So we got a little bit out here. Just gonna hit X or just switch back to the black brush so we can delete a little bit okay so let's hide this top one and go back to the bottom one and delete a little bit that we don't want just some of that whoops again make sure you have the layer mask selected Make it even. I might even. Okay. What if we got a little bit of this white stuff? There we go. Alright, it takes a few tries sometimes to kind of get this stuff just right. Sorry if my guidance isn't the best is my this is my first tutorial so just trying to show you guys some stuff that I learned and uh, this I like to bring the shadows out bring that detail all right so let me zoom out that's looking pretty good so now to make this even more creepy, let's go ahead and um, we could go back to either la uh, our layer one copy and then I want to alter the eyes a little bit. So what I want to do is, actually you know what, you could delete layer one copy, you could delete that. Okay, then we want to go into far layer one. I'm going to go ahead and go filter, liquefy. Whoops, I already had it set, but I'll show you what I did. Filter, liquefy. Let's zoom in. 
and um, take a brush size about 60, density 50, pressure 100. Take our four warp tool and just uh, like you know alter the eye a little bit. I like to make it a little bigger and something like that. You could do with the other eye if you want, but I'll just leave one. And then what I want to do is take a black brush, not too hard. And then um, kind of color in this part of the eye. I like to, you want to leave the, the little glow of the eye or the, the light in the eye. And you see how that kind of makes it even a little more creepy. And then we go to the other one too. And do the same. Just color it in slightly. Just get a little bit of extra that you don't want. Just erase it. Oops, you don't want to erase the whole thing. Okay. Now, that's looking, looking good. I'm liking how it's looking so far. I might maybe you know uh, maybe go to the skull image or actually we can go over here to our image and um, actually let's scale this down a little bit. Bring it into the shoulders. Let's move that up. Okay, let's make sure I have to bring it up just a T bit. Okay, and then I'm going to take a light black brush, make it a little bigger, and uh, just draw some black. Just kind of, you know, make it a little shadowy. Just to add a little more emphasis on its face. Uh, you know, shade in a little bit. Actually, you could bring the opacity down just a T bit, just so it doesn't be so harsh. And um, that's pretty pretty good. Um, if you want, you can. Uh, let's see. If I wanted to, like, say, I want, let's merge the copies down. So, Control Shift Alt E. And then we have everything together. We're going to duplicate that. Go to filter, other, high pass. Um, the only standard 5 is pretty good. So click OK and then change this blend mode. And you could kind of make it a little more interesting. Uh, maybe something like that. Or I like linear light or. Stuff that brings it out a little bit more. And uh, I mean, this is pretty cool right here. Color Dodge. It's kind of a cool pick. So, um, and then if you don't want it so harsh, you can bring the opacity down a little bit so it's not so strong. It's like maybe 50%. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. It's half skull, half human. A little creepiness added in there. Uh, got any questions any other sorry that's my dog choking to death but anything else you want to see uh, just let me know and um, yeah that's it all right more tutorials coming